What's up guys, it's your boy Killmonger and welcome to episode 3 in my Rags to Riches Road to Glory. Today is a very special day, it is the Thursday, every week on Thursday, the EA decides to drop the rewards, so you get your division rewards and then you get your foot champ rewards every Thursday. But this week's even better because the game came out, well the game didn't come out obviously, a lot more people bought the game on Christmas because one of the price drop and two people get it as gifts family members give it as gifts there's way more people on the game now so EA decided to drop the SBCs we'll take a look at it right now where team of the week upgrade pretty standard tradable upgrade pretty standard those have been there for I think it's the past two three years now we've had this going on but what personally I'm not even gonna touch those what I do is these right here this premium Premier League upgrade or premium the league upgrade, premium league own upgrade, premium bonus. Upgrade. Any of those, personally, for me, I try to do as many of those as possible because these are, these packs is what I got. My Mertens, the 88 Inform, I got that untradeable out of this, and I got my 85 Martial untradeable out of this. And I only need to do like five or six from each league in order to get that. So I think I'm going to focus more on that than on Informs. I have some informs that i have stored on my transfer pile for this specific occasion so we will do one or two of these uh team of the week upgrades depending on what i get in my rivals untradeable packs i decided to take the untradeable packs this week as you can see i have 160k i planned on taking the coins we only got rank two because of holidays i didn't really feel like grinding the game the servers weren't that great so we only got to rank two but instead of taking the coins this week, we took the untradeable packs because the more players we have right now in the club, the better. Because even if we don't like them at all, we can just trade them in for these SBC upgrades. So, I'm about to get our gold 2 rewards going. We'll see who we get in these player picks. If, if I get Son or Pogba in these player picks, I could care less about anything else, honestly. Because that would be ridiculous. And we're getting 45k from this anyway. So I guess the 50k would have bought me up to 250,000. But I actually forgot that you got coins for foot champs. That's kind of dumb of me. But alright, first player pick. Ooh. Okay, that's kind of interesting actually. So... Originally, I was looking at this Grimaldo car when it came out yesterday. However, I don't think I'm going to pick him just because... <sighs> it's a good card, but he's in League Nos. The Portuguese League isn't as deep as it used to be back in the day, just due to players going to the Prem or any other big league. Like They're more of just like a farm system now, so I'm not going to have a Portuguese team. And I could link him easily into like a La Liga side if I had like a Saul and then a La Liga, like a Spanish center back. But he's only 5'7", and that's way too small for my for me personally for left back and right back. Like Yeah, he has the pace, but I feel like he's just going to get bullied. So we're going to go ahead and take Goza because the cams in the Bundesliga, there essentially are no cams. You have Hamas, who's like, I think a regular gold, and that's, I think that's the only viable regular gold you can even use, and then you have a bunch of like, inform cams, obviously, so I'm gonna take this Goetze, and even if we don't use him, I can put him into SBCs very easily, because he's German and he's in a good league. So, Mario Goetze, all right. Second pick, I'm hoping for Pogba or Son, but I'm not even going to be upset if we don't get him because I understand that's not realistic. Yeah, that's about realistic. So we got some terrible picks this week. I'm going to take Perrin strictly for SBC reasons. No other reason at all. Confirm them, send them to the club. So really nothing from that we're going to add to our squad. After that coin boost, though, we're at 208,000, so actually, I'm actually very happy about that, and we're going to go open up our pack. So we have two jumbo premiums, a rare gold pack, two rare players packs, two mega packs, two rare mega packs, nine packs in total. Hopefully, we can pull something out of these. I know that the Foot Champ and the Europa League Wonder Watch cards are still available. So honestly, I'll take anything at this point. 
No board. What is this? You just sound a guy. Yep. Well, again, that's an SPC card. Pretty standard. I, I feel like I already have him in the club. I definitely do. I hope I don't have him as an. Okay, this is one of the untradeables. I hope I don't have him already as an untradeable because that's going to be annoying. Oh, we do. Well, there goes the Jasana guy. Second pick right here. Well, second pack, I should say. I don't think that's anything either. No. I don't even know what kind of badge that was, so we're just going to skip through that. Jumbo Premium Goals have not really given me anything this year. I don't know if they've given you guys stuff, but all it's essentially given me is like consumables for the club, like contracts, chem styles, things like that. But I haven't gotten anything like great out of them. Oh, again, no board. Still a few. That's pretty poor. I'm not expect like I wasn't expecting much from these uh, first three packs, but that is very poor. I'm hope I mean all I'm happy for is that these cards can go into the SBCs, and I'm hoping that because my luck is gonna probably be terrible for the rest of these packs, that when I go and do an SBC pack, I'm gonna have some luck because I don't know. That's how my brain works. I feel like when you have terrible luck for a while, like you're almost due a good card. So I would rather get nothing in these packs and hopefully pull something in one of my upgrade packs. So far, we just got basic. I think this Alberto card is probably our highest rated besides guy. Oh, we get Nabry. Wow. This was my rare player pack, and this is what we got. That's terrible, EA. Like, and these are all untradeable. Oh my goodness, he's untradeable. Okay. Alright, so at least I can reuse these guys. That Alberto, though, he's gonna have to go. Alright, rare players pack. I'm feeling something good in this one. I need something good in this one, so come on, EA. Just give me something. Ooh, Virgil. Oh, wow. I'm annoyed. I guess Virgil would have been blue, right? I know some people know how to, like, you can even tell if it's a walkout. I don't open packs enough to tell that, but if anyone could explain to me how you do that, I'd be greatly appreciated. It's great cards to get in your SBC, though. All these cards are pretty much SBC cards. I get another duplicate guy. That's just annoying. Nigo Martinez. All these cards with a chance for this. I know guy, yep. I think there's actually a glitch you can do that lets you keep on tradables, but again, I don't look into glitches like that, so. Can I just get, like, something decent? Just give me something decent. Okay. What is this? Lucas? Yeah. Oh, man. That's just, like... I understand when this happens to people, and then they're like, this is why, like, they don't even bother playing, because... It is annoying. You put effort in it. Okay. Well, I already have him untradeable. This guy used to play for Newcastle. Now he's on Porto. It's crazy. I guess I have him untradeable. Look at all that stuff. Alright. Now I think these packs are tradable. Hopefully these mega packs give us something. I think one of these is untradeable. This might be the untradeable one, and then the other two might be tradable. Okay, not even looking at it. Again, I'm hoping, I'm just praying in these prime upgrade packs, that's probably what I'm going to do, that we get something great. Oh, coins! I'll take it. I'll take that all day long. Kiko Kasia. Alright, well, he's gonna have to get discarded. Alright, so these two packs should be tradable right here. Alright, 
Ah. Ah. Huh? Ooh. My man. I actually had to put him in an SBC. But. I was using Allison, but honestly, I do not like Allison, so Ederson is about to go right back into the team. I'm not even going to sell this card, because I use him in my Prem team, and he's been a great keeper. Between him and Lloris, I don't really see much difference. That's why I went back to him, except for the kicking. His kicking is phenomenal. This is actually a good pack. I'm happy with all these cards. And I could keep them all. I wonder what the dupes are. Savage, another good card for SBCs. I'll throw all this other stuff on the trade pile. Right. Last pack before we get into some SBCs. Uh oh. <gasps> wow. Again. 84. Wasn't he like an 86? Or is that like his inform or something? That might be like his uh, foot whatever card. His uh, UEFA Champions League card. That's probably what I've confused. I mean, still a great card, just terrible lead. It's actually a great left back card. Yeah. I would use him too. He's 5'11. 92 stamina is all day long for a left back. Like, I love that, but. Terrible lead. Mishi. All these players going to the thing. Ooh, Hughes. I could probably sell him for 200 flat quick. We'll discard him. All right, so we have a bunch of cards now on the block to do SBCs. We're gonna go and do a couple for this vid now, and then I think we're gonna do a foot draft video tomorrow. And then in that foot draft video, I'll have some team of the week upgrades. Or maybe we do a team of the, y'all probably want, let's do a team of the week upgrade now. And then tomorrow we will have the league upgrade ones done. Do we go tradable? Do we go regular? Is this team of the week even good? That is the question. How do we see this? I mean, we got the Gotza and we got the... See, with our luck, we'll get a Gotza or something. Okay, so this card... I like this card right here. This Havertz card. People don't people be people be people do blah, 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 blah. my bad. People do not be paying attention to the height when you go and you look at these cards. This dude is 6'2. And you would say, what does it matter he's 6'2? He has 82 agility base. So if you put any type of dribbling card on him, his agility is gonna hit 90. And if you have a 6'2 player with 90 agility, it's gonna be a problem in Ultimate Team. His stamina could do some work, but He's definitely a card I would use. I would have preferred him over Gota, to be honest. I would take a Ribery, even though I would never use him. Because look at this. Why? Like, look at the stamina. I wouldn't. I don't care about Ribery. These two right here, Pogba Son, even Alexandro, Lala. Okay, there's a, there's a couple people. But it's just like, there's a lot of cards that are just high rated for no reason. It's like, I don't, I don't see what, like, the worth is coming from them, but... All right, let's go. Let's see what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna do a base one just to get this done quick for the video. And then tomorrow, I'll literally have a video out with just a bunch of pack upgrades. But this is just, you don't even need a team of the week player for this. This is just 83 overall. Wow. I guess the trail one's what you need the team of the week one for. Well, okay, so. We can get some 82s, probably. I'm going to see how low we can take this. Savage. Tell us probably gonna go in this one. I'm gonna say I might put Alonzo in this one. I think I'm gonna put Alonzo in this one. I have a Rakitic still sitting here. I'm probably going to trade him. I got Saul I've been sitting on. Kadir I've been sitting on. All these cards for a rainy day. PZ you can go in. Kita can go in. I already have the chem done. So now just rating at this point. Brahimi. 
Let's see what we can get away with. We're gonna have to. <clears throat> I think that Brahimi is gonna have to go in here. I still have a Smolov one to watch tradable that I don't think I, I've had it from day one, and I don't think he's done a damn thing this year. Zaha Cruz. Oh, Cruz. All right. Oh, the left minute again. I'll, I'll put Brahimi in here. I think, that, I think this should do it. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, very cheap, untradeable. Team of the week upgrade. We're going to open this pack, and then on tomorrow's episode, we are going to have a bunch of upgrade packs. Uh, maybe even we'll do a double upload, and maybe later tonight I'll upload a strictly pack episode where we have 10 plus upgrade packs, and hopefully we, hopefully we, we pull out a Don or somebody that we could use. If we pull out something out of this, I don't know. That, I, mean, I don't know. Korean or French, I'm screaming. German. What I what did I oh what did I what did I tell you guys? What did I what did I tell you guys? What did I say was gonna happen? What did I say was going to happen? We get him in our player pick, and I said, we are going to get him in this upgrade. This is the untradeable team of the week upgrade. They give us this Gota. Thank, I'm assuming I can keep him. Yeah, so now I have a red Gota and a black Gota. So that's pretty much just EA's pack logic this year in a nutshell. That's why I don't really spend money on packs. That's why I do not see the point. You can make a boatload of coins just by playing games. So thank you guys for looking through these god-awful packs. I don't know what EA is trying to do to me. I am going to put out another video tomorrow that is just filled with we're gonna do a couple team of the week upgrade packs we're gonna do a couple league upgrade packs i got calcio a squad mainly and i have a prem squad and i'm just gonna we're just gonna do those packs and just try to upgrade and get big name players and tradable thank you guys for checking this out as always like subscribe send me some feedback add me follow me on insta you can add me on xbox whatever you want to do i'm kind of tilted about this right now so I'll probably even try to get it out tonight, but we're about to go ahead and bang some of these out now, and then in the next episode, you're going to see just a bunch of packs being opened, and hopefully, I'm in a better mood because we're getting good things. So, thank you for watching the video. I hope you guys have a great evening because my evening has been complete shit so far. I'll see you guys in the next episode.